surely so namrata let's take an example of shareholders of the company if the shareholders uh, shareholders of a company do not get their dividend on time investors do not get the returns for their investment on a regular basis both they lose their faith in the company and probably they might withdraw their investments and the biggest blow is they might take the same investments and invest and make your competitor stronger so if a major investor finds out that company is not involved in honest dealings or is disputing with other companies in the same sector or is misusing the natural resources or not respecting the environment or produces low quality and unsafe goods the reputation of that company will take a beating and automatically the shareholders and investors will also uh, lose on their earning opportunities that's why we have witnessed that an investor may never invest in that company driving away even the other current investors that the company might be having and forget about any further or future investments so business ethics must be implemented to balance the interest of all the internal stakeholders in an organization all the time so a very large power generation company from abroad i would not love, like to take the name you, you all know a very large international company which had come uh, to india almost a decade back or one and a half decade back from abroad which wanted to do large business in india because of the consumer base that india has they winded up and they winded up purely because of bad business ethics and bad business practices so that's how uh, how a bad business practice might dump a company into nobody taking interest in their existence or their growth namrata